In today's video, I'm going to share a secret. A secret magical ingredient in protein pancakes. My name is Amanda Louise. I am a physical therapist and personal trainer, which means I help women just like you get in the best shape of your life. Welcome to the first video in 2020, and also welcome to the first video that I am shooting at the age of 30. Skin has decided that even though I'm 30, I can still get beautiful teenage breakouts on my whole face. And I almost didn't want to film this video, but this year I decided that I want to be 100% real with you guys, so I'm filming even with my breakouts, and I hope you are okay with that. I'm sure you are. All right. Anyway, this recipe I just wanted to show you guys because it's actually from my app. So I have, if you didn't know, I have an app for all my online clients. This is what it looks like and everyone gets their own profile if they work with me. And I also put in a bunch of recipes. I even use this app myself to keep track of my workout, keep track of my diet plan, keep track of my progress. And this cottage cheese protein pancake recipe is one of the recipes that my clients get if they want when they are getting coaching with me. Cottage cheese is a secret magical ingredient in protein pancakes and in protein waffles. And they get so freaking yummy when you use cottage cheese that it's, it's unreal. And if you don't know already, now you know. And you have to make this recipe, try and make it, taste it, feel how yummy they are. And thank me later. This is how we do it. This is cottage cheese. This is zero fat, fat free cottage cheese. You can also use low fat Greek yogurt, but I will say that cottage cheese definitely gets you the best results. So if you can get it, get your hands on this, use it in your protein pancakes. And if you're ready, let's get into the video. Right here, I have everything you need for this recipe. I have my cottage cheese low fat where is that there i have oats i have frozen bananas so i don't know if this is going to work actually but i don't have any fresh bananas so i'm using frozen i would recommend using fresh if you can then i have eggs i have egg whites and then i'm going to make blueberry pancakes so i got some fresh blueberries to use and then i also have just for flavor i have pink himalayan salt i have liquid sweetener and I have cinnamon. This is all you're gonna need and you can get it in any regular grocery store. Also going to need a weighing scale, at least that's an option if you want to know exactly how many calories you're getting and how much of everything you're using. And you also want to have a blender. This is the one I'm using today, but you can use any type of blender. It just, uh, you can even do it without to be honest, but it just gets better and more fluffy if you can blend it like this. All you want to do now is take your weighing scale and your blender and then you just want to start adding the ingredients in the right amounts. So I'm going to start by adding 100 grams of banana and I'm using these frozen ones. I really hope it works. <laughs> it should. 100 grams of banana followed by 50 grams of regular oats. One whole organic egg. I always use organic or at least free range eggs. Then you can either use three egg whites or you can do it the lazy way like I do and use 90 grams of liquid egg whites. Cottage cheese. 
I recommend using a fat-free cottage cheese. If you don't have access to that, you can also use low-fat Greek yogurt or skier, which is the Icelandic high-protein yogurt, or you can use regular cottage cheese with a higher fat percentage, but this one keeps the fat low. And here you're gonna add 100 grams of cottage cheese. And then just to add some flavor, I'm going to add a few drops of this liquid sweetener. You can use any liquid sweetener of your choice, but this one is my favorite. Then I'm going to add a dash of pink Himalayan salt, which is the salt that I prefer to use in my cooking. And last but not least, some cinnamon. This is just if you like cinnamon, I love cinnamon and I love blueberry cinnamon pancakes, so that's what I'm making today. And you can never get too much cinnamon, in my opinion. Have a good amount of that. And then you just pop the lid back on. And just make sure there's no lumps left or anything. I think this one is perfect. And then it's time to make the pancakes. I like to cook my pancakes in extra virgin olive oil and I just take this brush and lightly brush the pan with it so I don't have too much oil added to the pancakes. And then I just add a few blueberries to the pancake as soon as I pour it on the pan so they'll settle into the dough and it becomes delicious blueberry cinnamon cottage cheese protein pancakes. Mm -hmm. Flipping it is always the most difficult but let's get under it. And here we are. So this is my stack of blueberry pancakes. And I know they're not that pretty. I'm sorry, but if you want them prettier, just use a smaller pan than what I use so they'll get nice and round. Anyway, they are just as yummy if they're a little bit ugly like mine. And I just want to show you an example of how you can make them even more yummy. So I have taken some more cottage cheese and I've added a few drops of that liquid sweetener from before so it's nice and sweet. And first I just add some of this on top. And then I'll add another handful of blueberries. Oop. My plate here is a little bit too small <laughs> for this mountain of pancakes, but it'll work anyway. And then I like to just add a bit of sugar-free pancake syrup as well. I'm not gonna use too much because I don't want it to drip off. And voila, look at that, so yummy. This recipe contains 477 calories, 36 grams of protein, 62 grams of carbs, and 10 grams of fat. Perfect breakfast or even lunch option whenever you are craving something sweet. This is a macro-friendly, very yummy, very easy to make recipe. I hope you try it at home and that you enjoy it just as much as I do. This is one of my go-to protein pancake recipes. I have a lot of them though. So if you want any more protein pancake recipes, just let me know down in the comments. Or if you have your favorite recipe that you think I should try, also post it down in the comments. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. And that was all from me today. My name is Amanda Louise, physical therapist and personal trainer. And make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out my blog and my Instagram where I post more free content like this every single week. That's all for me today and remember to train right and stay fit.